basically, so how do you bring uh, AI technology into production? How do we build a product around AI? Um, and usually you might think, okay, you're just looking for the latest paper uh, on the sort of the greatest uh, advances in deep learning, and then you take that and build a product. But actually, often it's quite different. So in the case of the algorithmic fashion companion, when we thought about the problem, our first thought was actually we need to figure out how to actually how the feature has to look like on the website. So how do we do we communicate to the customer that this is something that the computer has created, right? If if the wording is right, maybe the customer will try it out. But if the wording is wrong, there might also be uh, a lot of mistrust about it, right? So they think like, oh, this can't really fit because it's just a computer and so on. And also, how does the interface look like? Is it on the side? Is it on the other side? Do we want people to be able to select similar single items and so on? So that was the first thing that we did, um, was actually just to focus on the user interface. And interestingly, so like there are three parts, the product, the machine learning method we used, and the data we used for that. And for the first step, actually, there was no machine learning, right? So the data we had was just hand curated. So somebody sat down with somebody who knows something about fashion, and they just sort of typed in uh, a few hundred uh, outfits, and then they used that actually to try that on the customer and see what works. And then after they iterated that, they got like an MVP. And now the next step is, so now they wanted to also um, generalize these outfits over the whole assortment, but we still didn't have any click data, right? Normally, when you have something like that, you're using the click data to figure out um, like what uh, to learn sort of from customer behavior. But what we had was um, from Zalong, which is a part of Zalando, where you, um, you actually you talk with a human stylist, and he collects and puts outfits together and sends them to you. And if you like, you can keep them, and otherwise send them back. So we had a few years of that, right, which is made uh, for a few thousand, uh, 100,000 outfits. And then we used that, essentially, to compute similarities between outfits, and we used that as an MVP. And then only sort of in the third step, finally, we got the click data, and we could start to do like the usual machine learning. So I think the, the, the message here, right, so, so once you go to the, to the end consumer, um, you actually have to have a very iterative way of building products, and it's not always just about the best machine learning method.